Right, Paul, welcome to Dan's, first of all. Um, it's been a pretty hectic 48 hours or so. Are you pleased to finally get it all sorted? Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. Um, I'm delighted I'm at the club. Um, I see the, the, club, the club has great potential. Uh, I, I took my first training session this morning, so the, the players were, were excellent. So we're looking forward to, to the game on Saturday, but um, it's a great challenge ahead for us, so we've got a lot of things to look forward to. And how was the first training session this morning? Good, the boys were lively, um, they showed good enthusiasm, the good intensity about their play, the good quality, so we're hoping to take today's training into Saturday's game in terms of the way that they went about their business, in terms of how they worked and their, their work ethic, so no, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was very pleased with the, the performance this morning. And uh, could you describe yourself as a, a manager? Well, I think so. I, I, I'm pro pro probably hands-on in terms of the coaching side and, and, and doing the management also. So, you know, I think I like to get really hands-on, but I'll, I'll let Ray take the, the training this morning just to have a little look at it and, uh, in terms of how the, the, the players perform. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the to tomorrow's training and then, you know, obviously the game on Saturday. And uh, you moved into management only, I think it was a few days after retiring as a player. Was that always your an ambition of yours when you were playing? I think when you you start hitting that threat age, um, you know you know your career's not lasting too long after that. So you, you either go down a few routes, you do the management, the coaching, or the media, or something else. So when I hit that age, I, I felt that the management side was was what I wanted to do, and I was very fortunate in terms of when I left Aberdeen, I sort of went into a job straight away in, in terms of when Mike Moraney gave me the job at Alloa. So and we've had good success over the, the, the last two and a half years and. But now it's a, it's a different type of challenge. Um, the potential here is, uh, is greater, and um, we're looking forward to the challenge. And when did you first hear of the, the interest from Dundee? It was Monday night. I took a call on Monday night uh, from Scott, asking if I'd be interested in, uh, in meeting meeting with him in terms of the uh, the, the job. And uh, we met in Edinburgh late Monday night. Um, so we've had talks over the last couple of days, and and to finally get here, then you know, hopefully I'm, I'm delighted. I believe there was a, a late night, early morning video phone call involved in the interview as well. Yeah, we did a, a video link to, to John Nelms in um, Texas, so you know that was a, a long process, but you know it was it was good to, to, to meet John in terms of having a chat with him in terms of terms terms of what I'm about and what I want, and um, you know it went pretty well, and I'm um, you know, delighted to, to be offered the job. You know, you've seen Dundee a few times, obviously against your Alloa team and other occasions as well. Is there stuff that you take from those games into the job straight away? Well, the first thing that I noticed today was that the quality that's in the squad. We've got a good group of players there. Um, I've come into a club where we're joint top of the league, and sometimes that's very unusual. You know, when, when managers leave their position, um, it's usually because they're, they're struggling at the wrong end of the table. But I've come in here, we're in a fantastic position. I'm impressed with the players that in, in terms of the quality. I've, I've seen them enough this season, so we've got a lot to look forward to. We've got 14 games left, and um, we know where we want to be, and it's up to us to try and to try and get there. We're here to help the players and, and hopefully make them, you know, very successful. And uh, Ray Farren, I'm staying on as an assistant as well. To you. Ray will be staying on as my number two, and um, you know he'll be my right hand man in terms of you know I'll need to lean on him at times in terms of the squad. He's been here long enough. He knows the players. He's got a very good relationship with the players, so you know I'm looking forward to working with him, and, and, we, and we have to work together in terms of where we want to be and where we want to take the club. How big a, a factor was the the part-time kind of full-time thing as you leaving Alloa and then coming into Dundee? Well? I think it was massive. Um, I felt that I'd, um, two and a half years I, I did a good job. I wanted to test myself and, and challenge myself in terms of working with the players on a, a daily basis. So. You know, I, I took a bit of a risk and a gamble in terms of leaving a job where I was in, um, which is very unusual. So, you know, I've been out of the game for the last three weeks, but when this opportunity came up, then it was one I was going to take. And at Alloa, even on Saturdays, just past the half time, we see a lot of kind of different things with a, a full half time kind of warm up, and we've seen the ice baths and the, the bands and things like that. Is that something you'll be looking to introduce? Yeah, as well? yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll be introducing different uh, techniques and um, stuff that I, I worked on at Alloa. You know, I'm hoping to, to, to bring um, my own fitness coach in. We're in the sort of process of talking to him. So we do. We want to try and improve the squad. We just want to try and help the players. So anything that helps them, then uh, all the better. And we will try different um, techniques that are used at Alloa. And uh, just finally, Paul, it's a two and a half year deal you're on. Is there a long term plan at this point, or is it just promotion? Is there? I think we we want to try and build the club and improve the squad. Um, 
year by year. I think the, the main aim this season is to try and get promoted. Uh, we've gave ourselves a great chance. We're, we're sitting joint top. Um, we know where we want to finish. Um, and we want to try and build the club and make it a very successful uh, club. We want to try and get the Derby games back again. And we'll try our best to do that.